I'm Quinn Silva. And I'm Alex Jerome. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. <coughs> Thank you. Here are your announcements for Wednesday, April 16th. The Rogers Library in Hudson is celebrating National Poetry Month in April. They will be holding a poetry contest for Hudson students, preschool through grade 12 and adults. Each person may enter one poem in any format. There will be fabulous prizes awarded deadline for the contest is April 30th. Please give your entries to either to the librarians to be sure that your poem is entered on time. Make sure you write your name, grade, and phone number on the back of your paper poem. There will be a SALC meeting on Thursday morning at 6.45 in the small calf. There will be a meeting on Thursday, April 30th at 2.15 in the small calf for any boy interested in playing soccer next fall. This Friday, April 19th, we'll be having our annual multicultural fair. <clears throat> it will run from the first to seventh period. Only students with blue t-shirts will be manning bo the booths. Model UN students will be wearing small buttons with the MC Fair logo on it. Thursday the 18th is setup day. If you are a participant and have signed up for the fair, you will be given a blue shirt and you will be setting up your booth in the gym for the next day. We will meet in the library. All students should be ready to go by the first bell. Remember the best booth gets a prize. Students attending the fair will be accompanied by their classroom teachers. We'll be excited to see you all there. Let's all enjoy a day to embrace our diverse community. This week in Al is Alvin Spring Spirit Week. Tomorrow theme is Jersey Day and No Hate Day. Wear a jersey for any sport. Alvin jerseys apply. Friday's theme is Hawaiian Tiki Day. Uh, or run, walk, rock and roll. There will be a dance after school on Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. Wrap up this great week. Have a, Have good, a good day, day Alvin. Now, now here's, here's Mr. Mr. Peterson, Peterson with, with some, some announcements. announcements. Hi, Alvin. Have a couple different opportunities for you here sponsored by the Social Studies Department. The first is Boys State and Girls State. So Granite Girls State is a mythical state government in which you conduct uh, policy. You elect a governor and people to the two political parties, and girls write bills, debate bills. So this is taking place this summer at Franklin Pierce College in Ringe, New Hampshire. If you're interested, please see me or one of your social studies teachers for the paperwork. It's due back May 15th. Also, Boys State. Boys State also has an application. This is at St. Anselm's College this summer. And again, Boys State is a mock state government where students take part in a six-day uh, self-government um, activity where they have the two political parties represented and elect state officers for that. This is due a little bit later than the girls' state, May 24th, this paperwork is due. So that's one opportunity. The second is a guest speaker that we have coming to Alvern High both this Friday for the Multicultural Fair and again on Tuesday, May 7th after school. It's author Marina Kirsch, who's written this book. Uh, the award-winning book, Flight of Remembrance, 
which is about her father, who was a young Latvian immigrant who ends up being drafted into Nazi Germany's army. She's going to be here this Friday at the Multicultural Fair in traditional Latvian dress with her book for sale, $20 if you'd like. And then she's speaking to us Tuesday, May 7th at 2.30 p.m. in the Little Theater, room 311. So hope you guys take advantage of those opportunities. Thank you. Well, Mr. Falls, what are you doing for vacation? Nick, honestly, I'm going to be anxiously awaiting your phone call to four-wheel and take the off-road. Absolutely. So I hope you call. All right, I will. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. What are you doing for vacation? Well, uh, one thing I'm going to be doing is correcting five classes of tests. That's a blast. But the fun thing that I'll be doing is going to Newport, Rhode Island to see the uh, mansions with my oh, family. Yeah, that'll awesome. be a blast. Yeah. <laughs> it might be here on Tuesday if we have a track meet. I don't know. Work on a track meet, maybe. I don't know. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. What are you doing for vacation? So we sponsored a German exchange student last year, and she came in last night, so she's with us, and we're going to do some day trips to places like Boston, go to the John F. Kennedy Museum, and That's awesome. maybe catch a baseball game. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. What are you doing for uh, vacation? Uh, I think I'm just going to hang out with some friends to catch up on some sleep and everything. The fat naps? Yeah. Oh, nice. What are you doing for vacation? I'm uh, going up to Lakewood and Pasaki. I'll be where. Hey, man. What are you doing for vacation? Uh, nothing you all need to know about. It's Mr. Blair's time. All right. Miss Parsing, yeah. What does Spirit Week mean to you? Um, Spirit Week means to me um, our student body coming together, um, promoting inclusion, and showing school pride. Thank you very much. Jimmy? What does Spirit Week mean to you? Spirit Week is that special week where I get to have my special friends come into my office, put their feet up on my desk, sit back very relaxed in the chair. <laughs> You're not snoring, are you? <laughs> no. All right, I was just laughing. checking. Spirit Week is about the spirit we all have to get along and be together. That's the best part of the week. Mm -hmm. Roll it. Thank you very much, Mr. Beals. Jimmy, it's my pleasure. Get your feet off my desk, Jimmy! Oh. <laughs> Spirit Week is one of my favorite weeks because it means that everybody in the high school gets together with one theme each day and it just pulls the whole group together as a big community, and I love it. It's what makes high school fun, because high school can be a lot of work sometimes with all your classes and things, and so I love Spirit Week because it makes fun moments throughout the day. Hey Ryan, what does Spirit Week mean to you? Spirit Week is so everybody can express themselves in the way that they want to, and you get to dress up and act wild and crazy, right? Yeah. It's fun, right? Yep. Yep, all right. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too.